All right, turning back to weather this morning, we've been talking about it all summer that uh, all summer long. We've had triple digit temperatures of late, but it's not so much the heat. It's been the humidity that's making it feel so oppressive out there. So why the increase? Let's bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz to explain. Yeah, we've been talking about the triple digits and it's not just a Texas. Most of the state does have some type of heat alert. It's across a big portion of the south. Now Phoenix 110 plus uh, degree days for 18 days. Today will be the 19th El Paso 100 degree days. All also for 32 days, but that's because of the ridge of high pressure. Look over here. Miami's heat index has been over 100 for the past 37 days. That's quite intense heat, and a lot of it has to do with the Gulf. The Gulf temperatures have been in the mid to upper 80s. Now you might think that sounds about right. It's actually trending warmer than normal. Anywhere between two to five degrees above normal. So think about a large body of water that is hotter. We're looking at then the air that's right on top of that that sits on top of that. It's going to contain quite a bit more moisture because hotter air contains more moisture. Our naturally southerly wind take that tropical moisture and instead of keeping the onshore uh, temperate, it's actually going to keep it quite a bit more humid. It's going to push all of this moisture into the state, and that's what's going to lead to really high dew points. From a dew points measure of moisture, the higher that number is, the more muggy it feels, and the more muggy it feels, the hotter the feels like temperature will be. So while our temperatures have not been as hot as last year, our humidity even higher. 11 100 degree days so far by this time last year, we were already at 22. So again, the feels like temperature, that's what's getting to us. 